Porn hijacks your brain. So in last week's episode, we were discussing how you can discern if you have healthy needs or unhealthy needs, and if you're meeting them in a healthy or an unhealthy way. And there was a lot to unpack there, and we started to, but the gist of it was, if you're going back to porn, you may have an unhealthy or healthy need, and you're moving towards something unhealthy to get it met. Well, today I wanna to expand upon that and move inside, go internally into your mind, and help you be able to know when you can hear if it's the hijacker's voice you're listening to to inform that decision or if it's your true authentic capital s self but the idea is that we are always listening to the voice inside of our head and a big message for today is don't trust that voice and so don't listen to that voice. You don't have to trust it. Get used to going into your journal and using the four markers I'm gonna give you right now to be able to look for, is this Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde talking or is this the true authentic self? I'm gonna teach you how to know, but don't trust that voice. That's the number one thing that I wanna tell you because if you are stressed, and stress is the number one thing that is going to make your personality disintegrate. So stress is the main thing that's going to make you disintegrate. So the voice will change depending upon where you're at. Now, this is the trickiest thing about disintegration. As your personality type or your authentic self is disintegrating into the stressed version of yourself, self-awareness is low. You can't even really feel it or see it until those levels raise again and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? He wants to get escapism. It's more of a narcissistic bubble, as we know, and it's in a framework of get, take, take, take. So think about that. Next time you're making a decision, it's like, am I getting something from this? Now let's compare and contrast to your higher, most authentic self that would never need porn. And it's gonna lead you to the brain hack strategy for the day because this is an amazing thought behind how you can leave porn easily. You can leave porn easily if you can learn to make this distinction and stay in your true self. So your true self wants to give. Your true self wants to give. It doesn't need to get. Giving is what feels good. And giving is inherently expansion thinking about giving to the world or giving to your people, giving to your partner, giving to your employer, giving to your community. And it's out of love, not fear, not control. If you're acting out of the hijacker, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, lower S self, you will want to get out of fear and the need to control for safety and security and it will lead to contraction, which most easily can be identified as the desire to isolate, to self-soothe and self-stimulate. Ego, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde is gets, fears and controls, contracts and isolates, and needs to self-soothe and self-stimulate. Getting, a lot of time it's validation, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Your true authentic self gives loves, expands, and shares. You can stay in peace no matter what's going on. And man, does that feel amazing. People ask me all the time when I talk about brain training and brain rewiring, is it possible? Is it actually possible? I'm telling you, it's actually possible. When you do this, you literally don't need porn anymore. Porn is serving that dysfunctional brain pattern that gets you these behaviors. So when you don't have the dysfunctional brain pattern, your brain shifts to the functional brain pattern and you don't even want porn anymore. So you've probably heard people's journeys where it's easy to leave porn behind. It's easy because porn's just not necessary to self-medicate anymore because you've become this version of yourself 99.99% of the time. The other 0.01%, you're gonna do what I do. You're gonna go offset that stress and get yourself back up 
to the top levels.